Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening, bonjour, bonsoir mes amis, good morning, good night, good night. For those of you who are new to us, we are the TSTW24 uh, uh, traders. The title of this video is uh, how to combine the CCI indicator and the pitchfork tool. Alright? At the end of this video, one should be able to understand the role of the pitchfork tool and how one can combine uh, the CCI indicator, the commodity channel index indicator, and the pitchfork tool for day trading or swing trading purposes. Let's get started. All right? Here I have uh, the pitchfork tool, always uh, as I explained to traders before, if we're going to use the pitchfork tool, we need a three point. So, you see here I choose three points. We'll put the middle point, so here. So if I remove my pitchfork tool, and I'll start again afresh. Put it on the chart like this. And then the middle bit, you put it to the first point. Because the price went up first, and then pulled back. Or, the price went down first, and then rally like, rally up a bit okay do you get a message so if you want to use the pitchfork tool you want the price to go up first and then to pull back so this is the first point and this is the second point and this is the third point on the other hand if the price is going down we want the price to go down first and then to rally a little bit not 100% retracement, all right, to, to rally up a bit, not up to the starting point. So the, in this case, in a downtrend, this will be the first point, the second point, and this is the third point to draw our pitchfork tool. Now you know how to, to use the pitchfork tool, and we're going to demonstrate how we can combine the pitchfork tool and the commodity channel index indicator. One of the challenges that a lot of uh, day traders and swing traders are facing uh, when they are using the commodity channel index indicator is that uh, they don't know when they should sell and when they should buy, what they should look for to validate the overbought condition or what they should look for uh, to validate the oversold okay, a CCI indicator. The first thing you need to remember is that uh, all technical indicators such as MACD the RSI indicator and the CCI indicator, the stochastic indicator, all these technical indicators will only give a trader or a market participant a warning. They do not give what we call a direct signal. So most of the time, traders will spend their time trading the indicator. So when the CCI is overbought, they think that the price also is overbought. But the CCI very often can be overbought, but the price may not be overbought. When we say that the price are overbought, it means that the price found a resistance, which means the price is at a resistance level, and the price couldn't go above that resistance level. But if the CCI is overbought, it's pointing to us that the price is in a resistance zone. All right? But if the price goes above that resistance level, well, we cannot sell because it goes above the resistance level and find a support. Well, the CCI can be overbought. It's just a warning, but that warning, okay, is not yet confirmed by the price itself and the number one indicator. Because though the price is at a resistance level, uh, the price breaks above the resistance level and they find a resistance level. Find a support above that resistance level. Look, I want to show you one example here because I don't want the video to be too long. The purpose of this video is uh, to, to, to assist traders uh, to day trade and sweet trade and to avoid the common okay, trading mistakes. This is the whole purpose of it, all right? It's not for a <laughs> uh, public show, all right? So this is, uh, the tone of this video is about educational, it's for educational purposes only, all right? Education, 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 all right? Educating day traders, swing traders, all right, so they can make excellent uh, trading decision. Now, if you learn something for the first time on YouTube, always test it. Now, especially if you are 
trading forex uh, stock commodity futures this is the only time that when you learn something on youtube you are obliged to test it first and you are also fully responsible for all your trading decisions all right if you are not mature do not trade all right Now sometimes we speak like this, traders say, John, how can you speak like this? But it's just so important to highlight these, uh, okay, points, all right? So there's one here. See, that, the, the, the edge of my pitchfork tool is a hidden uh, resistance level. So though we can't see any horizontal resistance level here, the pitchfork tool, the, the upper end, is a resistance zone. So one of the role of the, uh, the, the, the pitchfork tool so I sh I'll show you first how to use the pitfork tool. Now I want to explain to you the role, the role or the purpose of the pitfork tool. The pitfork tool will assist the market participant uh, to, to, to recognize hidden support and resistance level. Sometime uh, you will notice that uh, like here, we can't see any resistance as such, but the pitfork tool is allowing us to know that there's a kind of resistance here. Watch out, watch out, all right? Okay, again here you see, the same place here, the price was going up. Though we, in the here, here at least we have uh, some resistance here, what we call uh, horizontal static uh, resistance, there's one here. So it's, it's uh, coming together with uh, the pitchfork tool. So this is not a hidden as such, but if there were no resistance here, you will see this will be a hidden resistance level, all right? So what's happening here? So there is a resistance here, which is the upper end of uh, the pitchfork tool, but the price went above it. At that time, the CCI was in overbought zone. In fact, it went to the zone of uh, 200 uh, levels. So this, the commodity channel period 330, which I'm using here, went up to the level of uh, 200, and the price was a resistance level. But look, though the CCI was overbought, highlighting to us the first time you can see here each time the CCA is overboard look for a resistance level don't want to draw too many lines there was some resistance here you see that when the CCA, CCA was here where I put my cursor now here was uh, above uh, 200 above 100 above uh, 200 also it's pointed to at this resistance level, this resistance, the blue line. But look, the price went above the blue line and they found a support. Though the CCI is giving a warning that, yes, we are at a resistance level, we must keep our eyes on the price and see what the price is doing. If the price is at a resistance level and the price goes above the resistance level, we cannot sell. That will be a breakout. We will look for opportunity to buy instead. Though the CCI is overbought, you can see that trader bought it here. As the price start going up, the media line, the media line of the pitchfork tool is also pointed to us, a resistance level, you see? It's a hidden resistance level. Price coming here. The professional know that. They will pay attention to it. If you don't know how to use the pitchfork tool, I encourage traders to learn uh, to master the pitchfork tool at www.dayprotraders.com. So here, the commodity channel in this period 30 is overbought, pointing to us a resistance level again. It's the media line. But looks, we can just put a line there, as I explained to trader at dayprotrader.com. This is our warning line. The resistance that the CCS has pointed to us, the price goes above it. Well, we will not sell, but we will instead look for opportunity to buy. You see how you can avoid this mistake? It's happening every day. And uh, that's why we are busy recording a lot of videos, putting them on YouTube. You see many of our videos on YouTube about the Commodity Channel Index because a lot of traders use the Commodity Channel Index indicator, but they are making the same mistake over and over. One of the mistakes is to, they are trading the indicator itself. So <laughs> the indicator will go down, but the price will, did not go down. The next level, which is uh, somewhere in this region, you can see, again, on the upper end, you see, it's another resistance level. Again, we can put our warning line there. What the price did, 
The Dory CC I was overbought at this point in time, well overbought, well above uh, plus uh, positive 100, up to positive 200 levels. Okay? The prime went above the resistance level. So Dory CC is overbought. This warning is not confirmed, has been invalidated because the price break above the resistance level. So what we will say is that uh, when the CCI is overbought, and the price goes above the resistance level, if we want to sell, the price must goes back below the resistance level before we will consider to, to sell. But if the price goes above the resistance level, and the resistance level is converted into a support level, which means like here, you see it break above and retest it, and change the direction after this green candle, sometimes they say, what do you mean by turn around? This is it. Break above, retest, and you'll be watching a candle. You see, this was a doji followed by a bullish candle. Candlestick pattern. It changed direction here. And, okay, we can buy instead of selling. And we are rewarded, okay? See, all this time, it's not a sell, it's a buy signal. All right? So by combining the CCI with the pitchfork tool, we can make excellent decisions. Now I'm going to move my pitchfork tool, as I explained to you already, now you know how to use it. I choose uh, randomly three point. This time I'm going to put it here, because you can see that the point went horizontal, correcting this move here, and then from here it starts going up. And then see, as I explained to you, it went up, and then it pulled back a bit. Alright? It went up and then it pulled back a bit. Okay? So I'm concentrating on this session. As you can see at this point in time, if you were here, we will be watching the media line, which you see deep below it, and test it here. And we will also use it together with the CC indicator. So here you can see it came up below the low part the lower part of the pitchfork tool the CCI was touching the central line here right and then it came back again from below it did below it and I retest uh, this part of uh, the picture too and you can see here watch carefully and then it just went down now, as I explained to traders uh, in the recent video that I posted on uh, our YouTube channel, the Pro Traders channel, when the CCI did below the central line, all right, and uh, return back above the central line and start going down, if you want to sell, we want to make sure that the price did below a support level and is retesting a support level here. So if you haven't watched this video, uh, the CCI indicator trading mistakes, uh, part one uh, to part three on YouTube, look for it, CCI trading mistakes, uh, part one to part three, you will watch uh, uh, this video, you understand it. So here, you can see that the price D below the, the lower part of the pitchfork tool, and was retesting it here on the edge. That time the CCI went below the zero line and returned back above the zero line and was changing direction. This is a valid sell signal here, which I explained to traders in a video that we call CCI indicator trading mistake part one to part three. All right, this is an excellent signal here. So the support level here, you can see the price went down here and then tried to go up in this session. The price did consolidate here. This is a key level on this monthly chart for Home Depot, and as the price went below that uh, blue horizontal line, you see here, it went below it first, and came back to retest it here, watch the vertical line, watch the vertical line, and you see here, you can see it did below the central line, and was coming back above it, and was going back down. It's a retest of uh, a support level, and this is a, a good signal, this is the setup, we'll follow the trading drill, set up the signal and the low risk entry point using a multiple time frame trading middle I tied the TSD WSY 8 and uh, to enter the trade and here it is it went down second time again the CCRD below the central line 
and went back above it. And this time he returns and again the same blue line, which is a support level. And then again, this is a beautiful setup again. Not only to retest in the, the horizontal line, but also the edge of the lower part of the pitchfork too. Beautiful signal here. Yeah? And it came back down big time. In fact, uh, those who understand the area wave uh, theory will have noticed that there was a, okay, a motive wave uh, followed by a correction, uh, which is uh, one to three moves. Okay, the correction was in three moves here. You see? So the first move, the first corrective move for three days who understand is your way. I call it orange. So there was an up move, motive wave, very strong third wave here, and then the price ran up. So there was a first correction, followed by the second correction. The second correction is correcting the first correction. This is the orange line, which is the first correction. The second correction is correcting the first correction, followed by the third correction. This is what we call ABC. Um, and the price uh, went down. As I posted a video recently on our YouTube channel, dayprotrader.com, I explained to traders how to combine the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level and uh, the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. I noticed that a trader has marked the video down, which uh, I noticed straight away this must be a new trader. <laughs> All right, so this is one of them again. It probably went down in three moves one, two, three. All right, and the CCI is oversold, it went up to the level of minus 200. The minimum price move is three one, two, three. After an impulsive move, after a training period, after a training period, if the price goes down one, two, three, and the CCI is oversold, we can look for opportunity to buy. But we do not use the technical loan. We will check the fundamental before we buy and hold and forget and blame everybody else that yes, one plus one equal two, and this time one plus one was not equal to two. Trading is not math, it's not a science. All right, we want to combine the technicals and the fundamentals using the trading triangle. All right, okay. So here, this is a beautiful signal, price right below the P for two and retesting it here on the edge. Let's move on, ladies and gentlemen, because we don't want the video to be too long. All right, okay. Stay focused, please. I'm removing this line. This time, I'm going to move my pitchfork tool. Pay attention carefully. Three points. You can see that I joined this point. Now, so you can see that the prime went up first and then went back down completely here. I can go like this also, highlighting the pullback completely. But in fact, what I've done, I've, I've divided into the first move. So like this. Now, instead of using the whole move down, I can go like this also. Are you with me? So this up move, and I take this portion only. All right? So look, watch, watch the pitchfork too carefully, okay? The, now, if you want to trade like professional traders, you must learn how to use the pitchfork tool. And you must constantly use the pitchfork tool. You can use the pitchfork tool on the hourly chart, on the 30-minute chart, on the four-hour chart, on the daily chart. But myself, I prefer to use it uh, on a daily, on, not on a daily chart, but on a monthly chart, mostly on a monthly chart and a weekly chart, okay? Any time frame higher than a weekly chart is very good for uh, using the pitchfork tool. So you can, uh, for day trading purposes, you can determine excellent setups by using the pitchfork tool on a weekly chart, monthly chart, quarterly chart. As you can see, this is one of them here, a day traders who are using this tool like this, when the price was coming here, we'll know that there is a resistance here. You can see this is a, a hidden resistance because there's, there is no horizontal resistance here. When the price was coming here, there was no, or, there's no resistance visible for us. But the piece for two, you see here, it highlighted for us, if we use it like this, that there's a resistance here. And professional knew that. That's where they were selling here. So as a day trader, you can look for opportunity to sell here as the prior was retesting this resistance level. So you will use this as a setup and then you will switch to the lower time frame to watch the reaction 
the volume and what traders are doing there, whether you will receive a sell signal, yes or no, or you can use the TSTW24 on the edge right here. You see? So a swing trader also that have noticed that the price is retesting the media line like this, know that the bull that bought it from the lower part or the pitfork tool are likely, okay, to secure their gains because they know you secure it again or take profit altogether as the price hitting the media line or the pitchfork tool. So we can look for swing trading opportunity also on the edge right here. We also know that, uh, all right, am I speaking too fast? Okay, all right. We also know that, uh, let's slow down a bit, okay. There's a resistance here. So the price break above that resistance level for the first time, a major resistance level, all right. So we need to watch it. The, the mass is very often. The market will try to retest that level. You see, they were trying to bring it to retest at this level. Sometimes a stop may be due to retest a key level, like here. But if the S&P 500, this is what we are talking about, the market itself, the S&P 500 is very, very bullish, as we have seen recently, that will stop the price coming down because the market first, sometimes, okay? can stop a stock to, to pull back. If the market itself is very, very bullish, if the market sentiment is very, very bullish, a stock that is due to retest a key level can just continue to move to the upside. Sometimes also it can be excellent economy news relating to that particular financial instrument that can stop the prior retesting in normal condition as we will expect it to retest the key level. So as you can see here, the prior was retesting the upper end of, uh, uh, it was retesting the median of the pitch of two. The CCI period 30 on this monthly chart, yes, is above 200, well, well above positive 100, up to 200 level. Right here, you want to put my spotlight. I might don't know, in fact, we are here, we are here, right here. So it, it went above uh, 200, positive 200 level. And it starts showing, okay, a divergence. Well, a divergence is a warning. All right, you can see that uh, the CCR was extending so much and was re resetting itself. The indicator was resetting itself. But the price did not acknowledge it. You can see that uh, if I put a vertical line there, uh, Okay, you can see that the CCI was going down all this time. You see here, was going down all this time, but the price was going up. All right. So now the CCI was overbought, and it also pulling back, but the price continued to move to the upside, display a new higher high above the previous high. Okay. So in this scenario, we see this kind of a diversion taking place here. If we want to sell, well, a trend line at least uh, should be taken out. So here what has happened now, or what is happening now for this, uh, the common central line, the trend line that we draw very close to the price, we call it now in orange. The price D below, you see with this candle here. And now it's also retesting the orange line but also on the edge of uh, the pitchfork tool, we will be monitoring. It doesn't mean we go and sell straight away. We will be monitoring what is happening here because the stock is bullish. A resistance is taken out, so to speak, in one boy, so it's bullish. A new high high is in place, it's bullish. But <laughs> if the price return back below the previous high, it's what? It's bearish. Now, the common central line is taken out and the prior retesting the, the common central line on the edge of the media line or the pitchfork tool. At the same time, this commodity channel index is saying to us a bearish divergence. This is a warning. We just acknowledge it. So in this case, to acknowledge the warning, how do we do that? We don't want to discount the warning, all right? We draw the warning line. That's our warning line, the blue horizontal line. So in this scenario, though we see the bearish diversion taking place here, we will only sell if you receive a sell signal below the blue horizontal line, the blue warning line. If the price goes above the warning line, 
we will stop fighting the market. <laughs> All right? We will stop fighting the market because it's a resistance, it's the warning, it's the, the resistance that uh, the CCA has pointed to us. The warning was uh, bearish, but if it finally support above the warning line, we will buy instead. We will look for opportunity to buy. Look for opportunity to buy. If there is a, an opportunity to buy, you will take it. If there is none, you will not buy. <laughs> All right? As always, we want to combine the technical and the fundamental. All right? You see how the pitfork tool, by using the pitfork tool together with the CCI, one can dictate the best uh, trading setup where one can buy or sell, like professional traders. Professionals are always using, okay, uh, the pitfork tool. All right? What I've done now, I just move uh, my line here because, you know, there was a trend. And I'm just, I just stick my point here and I'm moving my pitchfork tool from all the time, from A to B, like this, you see, right here. Now, if you pay attention carefully here, all right, all right, you can see that uh, as the price was going up from here, the lower part of the pitchfork tool, if you draw it like, like this, you see that the price was retesting the media line of the pitfork tool at that point in time. If, I'm, if I highlight that point for you, point it towards a resistance level. The CCIP or 30 is also above uh, a 200. A lot of traders will be looking for opportunity to sell. But you can see that uh, the commodity channel index went above the level of 100 for a long time. So a lot of people already were challenging the price because they were trading the CCI as soon as it went above the level of a positive 100. But the CCI was going up, going up, going up because the market want to bring the price to this zone. Sometimes traders will see horizontal support. Like this one here, you see there's a pullback. If I draw that line here, you see. So that's why some traders were selling here. They know that there's a support here. So they will be want to sell here. But if you are not using the pitfork tool, you will not know that there's a better resistance right here. This is the difference because this is the tool that the professional are using all the time, the pitfork tool. Use it too, okay? Finally, the price hit it. This is the setup. We'll use the trading drill, the trading triangle, okay, and the multiple time frame trading method to enter the trade either for day trading purposes or swing trading purposes if it goes above the media line we will stop selling we will buy instead this is a good signal here on the edge of the pitfork tool all right beautiful signal yes or no just this point okay and these two point or just drawing a trend line like this joining this point and this point that's where the price but also using the pitfork tool, joining this point, one, two, three. Price retesting the media line. For the second time, the price retested that level again, and this time the, 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 the commodity channel display a lower high here. We will again look for opportunity to sell. If you receive a sell signal, we can use it for day trading or swing trading purposes. And it went down a little bit. But as the price Though the CCI display lower high, and the price was coming down, the price did not display a new lower low. The price failed to display a new lower low. It's telling us that the bearish momentum is weakening. So joining this point and this point, this point and this point, allow me to draw this straight line. As you can see, the price pulled back a bit. So you are selling, know the next level. It says, see this level here, so you don't want to sell here. So this is why it's so important to draw a trend line on your chart, so you know where is the best place to enter the trade, you see here. So you retest it here, and then you just run away. All right, you see now how we can combine the CCI and the Pitchfork tool. One can also combine the RSI and the Pitchfork tool. One can combine MACD and the pitfork tool to determine the hidden and support and uh, 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 support and resistance level, the levels that the professional are watching to make excellent decisions and also to set a price target. So, for instance, here 
If you buy it somewhere here, you know that there's a resistance which is the media line. If you rebought it above the media line, you will know that the next target is, uh, okay, this end here. You see some traders took profit here. On the edge here. Again, if you look carefully here, the CCI is overbought again here. And it was going down. But the prime went above the warning line, which is the upper end of uh, the pitfall tool. All right. The next financial instrument that we're going to look at, okay. Here it is. The Travelers Company. I have already put on my chart a pitfall tool using a three point, and I have below the Commodity Channel Index period uh, 30. As I explained to traders, this video is for educational purposes only, free trading education. For educational purposes only, okay, it's primarily for the TSTW uh, traders. So here we are. You see this point, and this point, this point. So the price uh, in this scenario, what we are doing, the price went up first from A to B, and then it pulled back, no hundred percent, not to the starting point to C. So went up from here to here, and then pulled back here. I did not come down all the way to the starting point. Great. We can use our pitfork tool. So I have a pitfork tool. So as soon as I see it like this, and like this start going up, I have my pitfork tool ready. So you can see here, the pitfork tool also will allow us to manage our trade. So we know where our resistance level, where we can take profit, where we can secure our gain, where is the best place to day trade, where is the best place uh, to swing trade, and we are looking for the best setups using the pitfork tool. And the professionals are always using the pitfork tool. I encourage every traders, okay, to use the pitfork tool, okay? They use it all the time, all right? You want to trade the stochastic, the RSI, use the pitfork tool, combine the pitfork tool with the technical oscillators, all right? Powerful trading tool. So here it is. So we have this line or the our pitfork tool ready as soon as we have these three points and the price start going up, okay? The price going up. So here the CCI. One thing I want to say, in theory, normally, when the price is retesting the lower part of the of the pitchfork tool, now pay attention, okay? Breathe in, breathe out. And listen carefully to what I'm going to say now, okay? This is not an exact science. This is a trading strategy. When the price is retesting the lower part of the pitfork tool, and the CCI is also below minus 200, we will look for opportunity to buy. On the other hand, if the price is retesting the upper end of the pitfork tool, and the CCI in this case, I'm using CCI period 30, is above positive 200, we will look for opportunity to sell. This is a theory, but we will always use the trading dream, the trading triangle, and a multiple time frame trading method or a top-down trading method to participate in a trade. Here you will see that, uh, I'll show you where we are, the CCI went near, okay, in the zone of minus 200, minus 200 zone and the price is retesting okay the lower part of the p for two here the cci is my is in the zone of minus 200 and the price retesting the lower end we will be careful you see here we are on a monthly chart the price did not turn around straight away so that's why it's so important to use a top-down trading method you see when not many times went up blah 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 before we went up so this, that's, this is where the top-down trading method is so important. The discipline of trading is so important here. The 5% money management is so important here. All right? How you manage the trade, how you enter the trade is so important here. And the tools that you want to use, check the fundamentals, check the market sentiment, all right? Google Finance, Yahoo Finance. Are you trading option? Okay, you're going to buy call option. Do your verification before you buy your call option. Are you a binary trader or are you spread betting trader? All right. 
Are you CFD trade down? Okay, calculate the cost and check how much profit you are likely to gain before you enter the trade. If you're going to risk a $200 for $10, that's crazy, okay? So this is it. So you see here? Again, here is in the CCR period 30, which is the level of minus 200, and the price is retesting the lower end, okay, of the pitchfork tool. We will look for opportunity to buy. We do not just buy. It doesn't mean buy, buy, buy. George, George did not say buy. We look for opportunity to buy. All right. I'm doing this exercise to get the attention of traders because sometimes you can be watching a video and switch off a little bit. So sometimes I speak like this to get the attention of traders. So we say, why is it okay? So they pay attention more. I didn't know. <laughs> All right. So you have to understand. We as uh, okay YouTube creators, we are doing our best that our audience okay understand what we are doing and also enjoy it. All right. So that's what we are doing here. So I have my line already. So if I bought it here, okay, if I if, if for instance I bought it here, why should we buy? We want to buy, we want to buy at a support level or price break above a resistance level. So there was a resistance here, you see it went up, chip, touch it again. Okay? So it went above that resistance, run away, run away, and finally come back and retest the blue horizontal line. Our CCI also was very close to minus 200 and uh, we will just keep our eyes here check the trading volume and use the top down trading method if you are using the TSCWS use your 8 and we receive a buy signal look the pitchfork tool will allow us to know where we can take profit the media line it run fast you see as it come near we grab our profit and also we don't want to look for opportunity we don't want to buy enter our trade here the best place we don't want to enter below the media line we allow it to go above it as you see with this candle here this small green one here went above it first yeah and then followed by the red one that's what we want to see and then after that we are watching so first reaction will be to look for opportunity to sell because you see it went above it followed by a bearish candle but if it goes back above it that's bullish. So it went above it first. Some people push it down. Now it went back above it. Well, who are winning? The people who push it above are winning. So we will be, all right? So we just want to follow the price, you understand? We are just trying to know where the price will go. So it went above it first. Some people push it down. As they push it down on the edge, our first reaction is to look for opportunity to sell. But there was no reaction to sell because, see the, the red line, the red candle close here. But look, the green one, as it stopped pushing, it didn't stop. It just went all the way through. All right? So if you buy it again above the media line, so first trade here, secure gain or take profit. Second trade above. Next, where's the next target? The pitchfork tool. Though we, didn't know, we did not have uh, any visible or clear cut uh, horizontal resistance above that we can see on this chart on this monthly chart okay unless we go to the yearly chart maybe we can see other resistance but on this monthly chart like this we can't see any resistance but the pitchfork tool allow us to see that there is a resistance on the edge of the upper upper side of the pitchfork tool the cci period 30 is also above a positive 200 we will look for opportunity to sell on the edge of the pitchfork tool, you see, it breaks above it and then close below it. You see, <laughs> this is a better place to enter. This one here. Well, sometimes can be tricky to enter the trade. You know that it's going to go down, and sometimes can be tricky to enter the trade. Very tricky. And um, sometimes it's, you may decide to not be part of it at all, which means you step aside completely. Sometimes professional will wait for the price to set or the setup to be clear and need for them, and sometimes the price will not do it. The price will go without them. <laughs> all right. So this is it. All right. So on the edge. So the price is playing lower high on the edge of the pitchfork two, and we have also a bearish divergence. We look for opportunity to sell. So here it is. The CCR was going down. 
by the price display a lower high so price display lower high this year is going down we will look for opportunity to sell so the momentum is, is bearish and the price confirming the, the momentum by displaying a lower high we look for opportunity to sell in this scenario in fact we'll say as long as the price remain above uh, I'm going to call it now in turquoise what we will say is that as long as the price stays below this uh, uh, turquoise or trend line priority to sell signal that's what I will say to traders priority to sell signal below this uh, turquoise or trend line now you can see finally you see it hit it here hit it here and then come back again here so again turn, you can see there's another one here beautiful trend line you see so the bear are positioning themselves along this bearish trend line, looking for opportunity, opportunity to sell on the edge at a low risk entry point. Very smart. And again here. Now it goes above it. Okay, we want it to pull back a bit. Okay, but it couldn't touch it. Sometimes, why the price does not retest it? Because sometimes you will have uh, some horizontal support level. You see this doji, you see this doji here? Okay. It's a beautiful level. This doji here, beautiful, tall. It went down all the way here, but there is a demand. People are buying here, or they were placed here, and it closed all the way above it. It's a beautiful, see. So it went above the turquoise line, but because of this very important trade that we're watching this candle here, price couldn't come and retest the the turquoise trade line. You will see that sometimes when the price will prefer, especially when you see. An inverted head and shoulder pattern, the primary of them will not retest the bearish trend line, but will retest instead the neckline. So we can say that uh, in this scenario, we can call this level as the left hand side shoulder, and this level here as the right hand side shoulder. So we have, okay. It's, well, uh, it's a little bit of uh, decline, uh, this uh, inverted hand shoulder. This is the head here. This is the right hand side shoulder. Uh, this, is the, <laughs> this is the left hand side shoulder. And this is the right hand side shoulder. Now, you can see that we can draw also, though this is the, the normal trend, uh, trend line, which is corresponding to the, if you allow me to say that, the neckline. But if you draw the horizontal line like this, or even like this all right see the price was just retesting that line instead of coming all the way here there is a demand okay around this uh, horizontal line that's why you couldn't retest it here let's uh, move on the discernment let's move on So the commodity channel index, like the RSI indicator, the market indicator, the stochastic market indicator, will give warnings, but the price must always come back, confirm the warning. The beauty of the CCI of uh, the uh, the pitchfork tool is that uh, it highlights for us, okay, hidden support and resistance level, and also uh, allow us to, uh, ordinary traders to go into the mind of professional traders and to know where the professional traders are likely to enter the trade. So as you can see here, so these are excellent uh, setups that we can trade together with the CCI. So here we know that uh, the CCI was retesting uh, this uh, support level. And as I demonstrated to traders in a video that we call CCI indicator trading mistake, part one to part uh, three, when the CCI goes above the zero line and pull back near the zero line and start changing direction, is telling that the price break above a resistance level and is retesting the resistance level and if it finds a support the CCI will pull back near the central line or the zero line only to continue to move to the upside this is a good signal here to buy so watch the video that we call the CCI indicator trading mistake part one to part three this is a good signal here the price couldn't retest, uh, okay, the, the, the two quarters trend line that we have drawn before, and couldn't retest also the lower end of, of the pitchfork tool. 
He had the price finally went to touch the media line. You can see professional know that. And the bull that were buying all the way from here, they knew they were taking profit here. Some sellers also were selling. But because the price went above the media line, there were some aggressive buyer here because of uh, the trend line. If you if you if you draw this trend line here, the price bullish, okay? It was above in a, a bullish to trader were, were not looking for opportunity to sell. In fact, if you put it like this. Uh, they were looking for opportunity to buy here along this uh, blue trailer here but finally the price uh, went below it okay that's why it's so important to combine the technical and the fundamental but you can see as the price was retesting the media line the cci period 30 was also uh, above uh, positive uh, 200 on the edge but here when we will watch it carefully because the cci is just pointing to us the resistance level which resistance? Okay, the resistance on our left hand side, but also the media line of the pitchfork tool. Here, you can see that the prior were a little bit horizontal, which is a bit messy. That's where sometimes traders get into trouble. They say, George, this strategy did not work now. All I will say to you always pay attention to the market patterns. The market patterns are very important. So here the price was oscillating between two levels. It's not going down until finally D below, okay, the consolidation zone and quickly retested here. That's where people sold it. But you can see that this stock was uh, quite volatile here. Up again. So if you didn't take profit, so as the people who sold it here after D below the consolidation zone, after retesting the media line, CCI was overbought, well above positive 100, up to the zone of a positive 200 on the edge. And we want to make sure, at least if you want to sell, that the common sense trend line is kaput. So, this is what we are talking about, the channel, the, the market pattern, always. So, you want to sell, it was in the rising, see here, it did below the bit, and then we we'll retesting here. There was a consolidation, it did below the consolidation and retested here. As the price going down, if you don't know, if you don't draw this uh, trend line or at least uh, put your pitchfork tool on the chart and you don't secure your gain here, you see what this candle did. So if you didn't come out of the trade before this candle, a winning trade can become a losing trade. One way to avoid this kind of uh, silly candles, volatile candle, is as soon as you are improving to move your stop loss to a break even. A zero loss so if it goes up fast like this due to economy news or whatever and you you are taken out with a zero loss and you can see how the price is acknowledging each time the pitchfork tool you see here and that's where the professional will make the decision you see here this here okay overbought near the positive 200 a bit below it but near it but the price was retested the pitfall through the middle here. We will use the top down trading method. All right. All right. This is the setup. Now we go to the signal time frame and wait for signal. And now we go to the entry time frame and take it from there. And we will not just enter the trade and forget. We'll manage the trade. Okay. Price going down. Watch the support level. Move your stop loss to break even. Control the risk. Know what's taking place. Don't. <laughs> Don't uh, enter the train and forget it, all right? You see now? Again here, and again here, the price acknowledging each time the pitchfork tool. If it goes above this, this is, so you at this point in time, you will draw, though the CCI was overbought, you will draw your warning line to acknowledge what the CCI is telling you. It's great, yes, it was a resistance here. See some people saw it here, we are on the monthly chart, but the price went horizontal a little bit and then quickly find a support. After this candle here, you will look for opportunity to buy and your target is again here. You come out here. Don't be courageous straight down. Again on the edge here, what's happening? You see here is again in the positive 200 zone. Why the price was retesting the upper end. It's just telling you that you are approaching the resistance level, be careful, take profit, or secure your gain. So we will draw again, our move our warning line. So yes, there's a warning here. That's it. You can come out of the trade completely or secure your gain. I usually come out completely. And here it is, it went above it. So it's bullish. 
we wanted to confirm this warning line as a support level, which it did. Oh, now it's above it. So what's happening now? Well, there's another, this, there was this high, and this is the new high. So if it goes below the, this uh, second horizontal line, game on, we look for opportunity to sell, watch out for the, the pitchfork tool, the upper end of pitchfork tool, and this level here. All right? The next financial instrument that we're going to look at, where is it? This one, Nike. Again, I have my line already drawn on this chart, on the monthly chart again. We can start from the monthly chart and switch even to a three minute chart. We can start from the monthly chart and switch to the hourly chart. We can, sometimes they say to me, George, I'm a, I'm a day trader. And I say, so what? All right? No, I don't say that, all right? I don't say so what, okay? But in my mind, I say, so what? Now, you can trade on the one minute chart and start from the yearly chart down to the one minute chart. You can start from the uh, weekly chart down to the 10 second time frame. All right, you see now? So you may say to me, George, I'm a scalper, I'm a day trader, I'm a swing trader. Yes, you can still go from the higher time frame to any time frame because the market is fractal. Let's see how long we have been talking now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before we continue. All right, we are talking about uh, the Commodity Channel Index Indicator, uh, how we can combine the pitchfork tool, a tool that the professional traders are using for day trading and for swing trading, that ordinary traders must incorporate in their trading as now. Let's continue with our discussion. All right. So here we are. So again, three point allows me to draw my year uh, pitfall two. Here they are, and the scenario is again the same. Price went up, and price pulled back. First point, second point, and third point. Now we know how to draw the pitfall two, which is important, and we also understand the role of the pitfall two. And we are now demonstrating to traders how we can combine the pitfork tool and the commodity channel index indicator for day trading and swing trading purposes. So here we are. So you can see here this commodity channel index is uh, below minus negative 100, approaching negative 200. Here, we will look on our left hand side. <laughs> it's like driving, isn't it? So, price breaks above this uh, resistance level on the monthly chart, run away. And what the price did after going up for a long, long time, slowly but gradually, the price came down in three moves. Earlier, with traders, wake up three moves minimum price move, CCA is oversold, and also talking about how we combine. The 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level and the, and the okay, 50% level or how we combine two Fibonacci retracement levels prior D below one Fibonacci retracement level and goes back down below the second Fibonacci retracement level but finally return back above the first Fibonacci retracement level. Watch the video again. Watch the video again. How do we combine two Fibonacci retracement level? The CCC, CCI is over, oversold. The price is retesting after a bullish progression. Resistance was taken out, which is bullish. Now it ran fast and it finally retesting it. We look for opportunity to buy here. This is just the language of the price. Not only that, if you understand earlier way, it, it, there was an impulsive move and then correction one, two, three. We look for opportunity to buy here. Now, if you want to buy and hold, we go to Google Finance, we check the cash flow, we check the balance sheet, we check the management, we check the market share, we check the competition, we will check the S&P 500, we will check the global, the macroeconomy market condition, is the Fed printing money, all right? <laughs> you, you want to understand what's taking place in the market, what is the mar current market cycle, and then if we believe in the company, because if you're going to buy and hold and forget, you believe in what they are doing, and you do your verification, not only to believe, you, you, you do your verification, you are happy. Uh, the stock is uh, discounted 75%, and they are creating excellent product, they are market leaders, they are 
dominate in their sectors, they have a future, okay, you can buy and hold and uh, give it a chance for three or four years or five years or more, all right? And here we look for opportunity to buy. It's a beautiful signal here. Impulsive move, one, two, three, retesting a resistance level, CCI, 200 here. Beautiful signal. This is a beautiful signal. So you buy here, as the price going up, how do you combine the CCI with the pitchfork tool? So you'll be watching the, mid the media line to take profit or to secure your gain. You see, it couldn't even come near it before people start taking profit. If the price went up and pulled back, and this is not 100% retracement, we have a higher low, well, game on. <laughs> so what the CCI has done here, this is what we are talking about, CCI indicator, uh, trading mistakes, part one to three. Share that video everywhere on the internet, very important. So there was a support here, you see, support here. Though the CCI did below the this, this, this central line and went back above it, the price did not even go below the support level. So as the CCI crossing back above the central line after dipping below it, will buy because the price did not even go below it. In normal condition, all right, we will, now what we will expect is the price to break a resistance or to break a support level, all right? Here, you just stay above it nicely here. And then this is a, a nice signal here to buy. Above. The price still displaying higher low. So here, there was a low, a higher low. Price tried to display equal low here. This low and this low. Didn't go below it. So we have, in fact, a double bottom here on the edge. So this is a tricky one because we are very close uh, are, you, are you with me? We are very close to the pitchfork tool, so we need to be careful. Here the CCI reaches uh, the positive uh, 200 zone. Can you see here? Where is the price? The price is somewhere in the middle here. Couldn't reach the upper end. Sometimes traders must pay attention to the middle line of the second half of the pitchfork tool. This is the second half or the pitchfork tool, this is the first half of the pitchfork tool. So they must also pay attention to the middle line or the media line of the second half of the pitchfork tool. So the price was, the CCI was overbought, but the price, okay, went down a little bit. You can see this is on the monthly chart, so it went down a little bit, okay? But on the edge of the, the media line of the second half, or the pitchfork tool, this signal can be sometimes very tricky unless one is combined that with uh, Fibonacci patterns or any wave pattern. You need to be careful because sometimes the professional will prefer the price to go all the way to the media line at least instead of the middle line of the second half of the pitchfork tool. So if you are selling in the middle of this, be careful, control it carefully. Yeah, the best place, at least near the media line like this. So you can see here, the CCI was uh, declining. We're telling us that the momentum is weakening, the bullish momentum that has started here is weakening now. It's resetting itself. And the price is approaching, okay, the middle, okay. All right. The media line of the pitchfork tool. We will look for opportunity to sell here because the price in the in the sec when the price in the second half of the pitchfork tool, all right, and we receive a sell signal, we can look for opportunity to sell because it's much it's, it's very bullish above the upper side of the pitchfork tool, a little bit bullish, but very bullish. Above on the sec on the higher parts of the pitfall tool, this is what I'm calling uh, the higher part of the pitfall tool. All right, if you were in a downtrend, the bearish momentum will be stronger in the lower part of the pitfall tool. All right, so here we have this what we call uh, a bearish divergence. And if we see a bearish divergence, uh, a trailer at least the common central is kaput. We look for opportunity to sell. So there was this divergence, divergence. We say yes, we acknowledge the divergence by drawing our trend line. Pew, 
Now, the weakness starts, have started. And look, he retested here before he came back down. Break below, retest, turn around. Sometimes it does not retest, but if he's retesting and you receive a signal, that's an excellent signal very often. So the CCI was pointing to us, a bearish divergent, bearish divergent. Market say yes, but we would prefer to sell near the media line. For one reason or another, the price couldn't come near it. Finally, the common centralized kaput. Pew. For professionals, very important that the price retest it. They like that. Then slowly it bring it down. Okay. Same thing here. Can you see here? So we have again the CCI was pointing to giving us a warning, a bearish warning, but the price was going up. Okay, price going up, you see. Can you see, can you see what they, were, they did here? D below the trend line, the blue trend line, on the edge of the media line. All right? And it retested, and then it retested here, tricky one. You can see it's tricky down, and then quickly again, retest again the media line before coming down. All right? It makes sense. It's also a powerful, all right? So the price always going from A to B, and the pitchfork tool will highlight for us the target zones that we need to pay attention to. So if you go from this point, the lower end of the pitchfork tool, we reach the media line, trader will secure it again, and wait again for another signal above it, and then we take it to the next level. The price always doing this from A to B, A to B. These, these are the areas where we will receive the best uh, signal, trading signal. Yeah, you went above the media line and then retest it. And then take it again to the upper end. The two profit again, try to pull back again to the media line. He found a support, he went back again. The two profit again, you see the red candle here. Now he went above it. As he's trying to retest it this time, he fell this candle. That's why it's so important to wait for the candle to close. We are on a monthly chart. If, if the price was coming to retest it, or you are looking at the monthly chart, and you are desperate to enter the trade before this monthly candle is closed, you will switch to the weekly chart or daily chart at least, and wait for either the daily chart candle or the weekly chart candle to close first before you make your decision. This will allow you to avoid okay, uh, entering the trade at the wrong time. Allow a candle to close before you enter the trade. It's very important. Very often, when a, a lot of traders do that, especially on a four-hour chart. So London is open. Professionals are watching the first four candles, all right? So now we are trading. The first two hours is the best time for day trading. So when the first four hours are closed, as London is closed, which is uh, 12 o'clock in London, which is uh, 7 a.m. in uh, Eastern time. So... New York traders, uh, people start getting up and uh, in New York start getting to the market at 7 o'clock trading uh, and uh, you want to watch the 4 hour candle after that, okay? Alright, so by combining the pitfall tool and uh, the CCI indicator, we can make excellent uh, trading decisions. So here it is, okay? Our resistance is taken out. Which one? This one. Pay attention to the blue line. But I went above this resistance. But traders are watching the upper level of the pitfall tool. But the, but the market prefer this resistance here because you see this was a resistance here. Price couldn't go above it. Couldn't go above it. Couldn't go above it. And then suddenly it went above it. In fact, there was a kind of a triangle here. Or trader will say flag or what, you know. So there was a consolidation in this session, which is uh, followed by a continuation, okay? So trader will say a move up, and then we see this consolidation, and then a breakout. So we will project the distance from here to here. Bullish move, consolidation in a triangle, breakout, projection. All right? So this is the target level for this breakout here. See? Bullish progression, consolidation in a triangle, breakout, this is our target. We'll set it here. Now as the price break above this uh, horizontal line, this resistance level, 
Instead of stopping on the edge, now they reject uh, the upper end of the pitfork tool, and now it retests it here. CCI indicator trading mistake part one to three. What we have said is what? Prime break above a resistance level and retesting it. And the CCI pull back near the zero line and start changing direction again. This is a continuation. We'll look for opportunity to buy. Check that series of video. All right? And share it. Don't share it. Share it. Always share it. All right? <laughs> Why am I saying this? Because it's so important, okay? <laughs> share. If you think video is very important for you, share it. All right, unless it's confidential, okay, and from there it's, it's they take it away. All right, okay. So you see now the power of the pitfork tool and how one can combine the pitfork tool and the commodity channel in this uh, indicator. The next financial instrument is Goldman Sachs. Okay, I have my line drawn on this chart. Now again uh, here we are again in a bullish scenario because the market has been bullish. Uh, for some time, except uh, from 2007. So there was a bullish cycle from 2003 to 2007, and then uh, we have the bearish season from 2007 to 2008, and then we have another bullish uh, cycle that has started in 2009, and uh, we'll see what's going to happen, okay? Uh, but uh, the market has been distorted big time, okay, from 2008 up to now. Traders should be aware of that, okay? So this point, at this point and this point allow me to draw my pitfork tool i can say i can draw it also like this and let me see so why don't you use this one i can i can i can use this one also okay i can use this one also because this is the highest high that's why i prefer that okay so with this one two three point so as we receive a a, a, a buy signal here and the price going out going up the pitfork tool will allow us to manage our trade. So it's going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Come near this level. What do you do? You secure your gain. You take your profit. And you will watch what's going to happen there because the bull, it was very bullish for a long time for Goldman Sachs. So this can provide excellent convergence signal. If the bear, the bulls has to close their trade, if they all decided to come out all together, all right, because it's, how many months in this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight months? In one year, 2009, for eight months, the stock went up. Now finally, he tested this level. So they say, well, it's time to take some profit and see what's, to hap what's going to happen next. All right? Now, for any of your traders, pay attention. I want this to click your mind every time. So we see a bullish progression again. And what do we have? Any of your traders? One. Two, for area wave trading, go to two for area waves dot com. Three. All right. Bullish progression. One, two, three. If, do not forget the if. All right. If. All right. We receive. Okay. A buy signal here. We look for opportunity to buy. A bullish progression. One, two, three. If you receive a buy signal here, we look for opportunity to buy. As the price going up. Draw your trend line and pay attention to the first and yellow resistance. So we'll see, as long as the price remain below this uh, two-quarters line, <laughs> all right, we'll see priority to sell signal. But if following the wave principle, bullish progression, one, two, three, if you receive a buy signal here, we'll buy. Our target is what? The two-quarters line will come out here quickly because it's a risky trade, all right? We are still below the bearish trend line, <laughs> like this, and uh, we need to be careful, okay? And then, and again, the bear took over again because they are selling along this line. They sold it, you see again, how the bear position, though you can't see them, but they are here, okay? They were selling on the edge, on the edge. And they try again to sell here after the price displayed. This, uh, this is not good. They shouldn't. Why they shouldn't look for opportunity to sell here? Because the price displayed finally, okay, a higher low telling her that the bearish momentum is diminishing this is the warning so this one you don't try to sell here it may go down but it's it's a risky one because the price has displayed a lower a higher low after see here there was a low and a lower low before it retest it this is not too risky <laughs> all right but this this place here 
it's a bit risky because a violation of uh, okay the bearish momentum uh, is now in place okay so here we see that uh, the CCI, the quantity channel index indicator you see it went above the zero uh, it went it was it went below it was first below the central line now it returned above the central line if it's going to go back below it remember the CCI indicator trading mistake part one to three what do we say when do we have this type of signal price must be below the support level and retesting the support level this support level here boom 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 down you see the tail and then go boom 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 up it's a support level here again try to go up now finally the price d below that support level now it went back to retest it here the ccr was oversold was below the central line and went back above the central line if it start going back below the central line that's a soft signal have you watched the video okay all right you see now so this is an opportunity to uh, i would say to tstws is your a traders look for opportunity to sell so what do i mean by that i mean wait for signal this is a very setup when i say look for opportunity to sell i mean this is a bearish setup if i say look for opportunity to buy this is a bullish setup now then we say okay we are soldiers, we are disciplined traders, we must follow the trading drill. The setup, the signal, and the low risk entry point. Now, we will also use the trading triangle, the market. We check the S&P 500, we check the settle. Yeah, this is a Dow 30, we check what's happening with the Dow 30. The Dow 30 at a resistance level, what is the market sentiment? We go to Google Finance, we go to Yahoo Finance. Uh, we check the fundamentals, we check the economy news related, related to Goldman Sachs, what's happening with Goldman Sachs, all right? And then we will take it from there, step by step, price going down. We don't want to just, okay? <laughs> don't short it and forget it, don't short it. You are selling because you see a weakness for a while, not forever. The natural progression of the market is bullish, okay? <laughs> okay, so here we will take, take some profits, okay? step by step know your key level there's another one here this one you see this one here see how you retest it again key level that's the that's where professional making the decision all right pull back again to the edge of uh, the the two quarter line where's the cci here i want you to, if if you draw the the media line of the second half of the pitchfork tool it will be something like this, yes or no? So the first part of the pitchfork tool is that this uh, area here, above the media line of the pitchfork tool. The second half is below the media line, which is right here. So that's why I said to you, though you need to pay attention also to the media line of the second half. So this is the media line of the second half. See here, when people bought it here, as soon as it touched the media line of the second half, some trader took profit. I pull back a bit before it went above it and retest the middle line of the second half of the pitfall tool. See how the price is acknowledging if you like this line. The, the orange line, you see here? This is the media line of the second half of the pitfall tool. You see how the on the on the on the on the month this monthly chart? Alright. Are you with me? Are you following me? All right. All right. You see how the, the, the price acknowledging the media line of the second half, the orange line here. All right. You see now. All right. It makes sense. And it's also a powerful, okay? Very powerful tool. Now, you can see that uh, the peak, uh, the CCI was, uh, you can see here, it is at uh, 74. It's not yet overbought, but the price was acknowledging, okay, this, the media line of the second half of the pitfall tool and also uh, the two quarters trailer here. Though the CCI was not overbought, so today we say, oh, it's not overbought, we can't sell. But the price itself was bearish here on the edge, which is a low risk entry point, and trader sold it down. It display a lower low 
before retesting the bearish trend line and trying to look for opportunity to sell. This is a nice swing trading opportunity. So now we are above the Chiquas line on this uh, monthly chart. You can see that the price now approaching uh, this uh, support level, you see here, on this support level here, this uh, line here. What color is now in pink? So this is there is a kind of resistance there, but there is also if it goes above the so so far we will say uh, we need to be careful because the market will prefer to push it to the pink line. If it goes above it, they will try to retest again the media line of the second half of this speed for tool. You can see now that the CCI is in a region of a positive 100 telling her that uh, attention, attention, resistance, res resistance, attention, attention, resistance, resistance, all right? So it's like, uh, all right, you are the, the, the commander of a submarine, you are pushing some iceberg, okay? Attention, attention, resistance, resistance. This is what the CC is saying here, okay? Approaching uh, the, uh, the, the positive uh, 100 zone. Now, we are at the resistance, this resistance here, you see? Resistance, yes, 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 yes. The one is correct. Yes, the one is correct. So we draw the warning line now. So the blue line here, this is our warning line, the blue horizontal line. But now that blue line is kaput. So the next resistance is the pink one, and the, the, the second one is the orange line. So with the pitchfork tool, we can make excellent uh, a trading decision using uh, okay, the commodity channel index uh, indicator. The last stock that we're going to look at is uh, the Visa. Do you use a Visa, debit Visa, credit card Visa? It's a Visa company, Epic V, V for Victor. All right, beautiful, okay? So here we are. Again, here I'm using the Pitfork tool. And a three point again I'm using here. Again, in an up move, price went up and then pulled back. One, two, three. Look, can you see the reaction along the media line here? How the professional are making the scene? Though we can't see any, horiz any horizontal or static resistance here, where the price was approaching this zone, we can also use Fibonacci extension to determine hidden support and resistance level. We can use the pitfork tool, which I'm using here. The price was touching the media line of the pitfork tool. After going along, look at this, how the price was going along the the lower part of the pitfork too, and finally, boom, all the way to the edge, and the professional took profit for one month. And then the prior found the support above the high of this candle, above uh, the closing price of this green candle. Because it's a bullish candle, the closing price on the monthly chart is a key level. All right, here. Yeah. Have you watched the video that we call uh, How to Day Trade Tips and Tricks by Day Pro Traders channel? All right, so here we are. So it finally, he pulled back a bit because the CCI period 30 was uh, well above uh, positive uh, 200. Can you see? Positive 200, well above it, okay? And the prior was retesting the media line. Here, the bull that we're buying, they know the target level. They will be willing to take some profit. They must sell if they want to take profit. Or they can secure it again. Bear are watching to look for opportunity to sell on the edge. Price went down for one month. But price uh, found a support at the closing price of this uh, bullish candle. And you see, it's a tricky place to trade. You may go away for a while and come back again and see whether you have a better place where you can enter the train on the above, okay, the media line. And again, if you receive a buy signal here, though the CCI is overbought, all right, we are not trading the CCI, we are trading the price. As long as the price display higher lows, higher high, we'll use a multiple time frame trading method. So this will be a setup. We we'll go to the signal time frame and then we we'll select a low risk entry point, looking for the price to go into a rising channel I will enter when the price display the, a higher low in a rising channel. Price going up. So here, trade to profit again. You see a hidden resistance is again highlighted here, highlighted here. 
by the pitchfork tool. The commodity channel index was showing us a bearish divergence, bearish divergence by pulling back down. By the primary test, uh, okay, the edge of the pitchfork tool, so they are taking profit. We look for opportunity to sell here, but we know that, okay, the price is in the rising channel. It, so when we are selling, if you look, if you receive a sell signal here, you need to be careful because it's a, a risky trade, it's a contra trend. You are trading against the trend and you need to watch it carefully and not to risk too much money. See? So it pulled back a little bit on the edge of the pitfall tool, very divergent, probably hit the next level, which is the edge of the pitfall tool, but probably went above our warning line, which I'm going to call out now again, in orange. It went above our warning line, went above it, what it did? Beautiful. This is a beautiful setup. It went above it and it tested here, and then just ran away now. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Can you see now? So the price now out of this, uh, our channel here, the red horizontal line, that's the closing price, which I have here, on the yearly chart for Goldman Sachs, at the level of uh, $222.23. So what I will say at this point, priority to sell signal, as long as the price remains below the closing price of 2013, and priority to bullish signal if the price goes above it, and the final support. That's where the price is now. So with the pitchfork tool and the CCI indicator, we can make excellent decisions. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of this video. And I have demonstrated to traders how they can use the pitchfork tool. I have also explained to traders, okay, the purpose of the pitchfork tool is uh, to highlight hidden support and resistance level and also to assist the market participant to manage their trade, to know where they need to secure their gain, when they need to come out, all right? Uh, what's the price target they can expect, okay? So they can calculate the risk reward ratio and uh, to make excellent uh, trading decision. I have, I have also shown to traders a trading strategy that is very simple. Uh, the price at uh, the upper end of the pitchfork tool and the community channel is at a level, uh, positive uh, 200 zone. We look for opportunity to sell. And also, uh, when it's the price uh, retesting uh, the lower end of the pitchfork tool, and the price, uh, the CC, the commodity channel index, is also in the zone of a negative uh, 200. All right. I have also shown to traders a different way one can use the pitchfork tool, all right, in a downtrend okay, and also in the uptrend, all right. There are more to this, but I think that we have said enough and that we have shown traders, okay, how traders can use or the commodity channel index and the, the pitchfork tool to avoid trading mistake. One of the mistakes that traders are making is that uh, when a commodity channel index reaches the, the uh, is above uh, a positive 100, trader will just start selling why the price still in a rising channel. This is a violation of market patterns. And another thing they are making, another mistake that traders are making, uh, the commodity channel uh, is oversold below a negative 100. Uh, there will be a, a, a buy straight away and the price will be going down more. You don't want to sell when the price is in a declining channel. I have also stressed the importance of uh, uh, using uh, okay, a top-down trading method so on this monthly chart, all we were highlighting, these are just the trading setups. We must use a top-down trading method. So we see the setup on a higher time frame. We select the signal time frame, and then we use a low risk entry point. This is about the TSTWSY S008 trading method. All right. I have also recommend to traders to watch, uh, okay, a three videos series, uh, CCI indicator trading mistakes. These are very, very important, okay, watch it, CCI indicator trading mistakes on day pro traders YouTube channels, okay, search it on YouTube and uh, you will see it and I recommend that trader watch uh, these uh, three videos so they may understand um, uh, how they can use uh, the commodity channel in this. I hope you have learned something from this video, okay, and we'll put into use, okay, to make excellent uh, a swing trading and day trading decision. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. If you like the video, please like it. If you dislike it, please put your comment below to tell us why you dislike it so we can keep improving, okay, and become excellent YouTube creators. Happy New Year to you all.